Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of My Bucket List Day. Hi kids. And as you can see, Joanne has joined us. She's mm -hmm. feeling better. I am. And ready to be back on camera. Kind of. She's uh, <laughs> she's speaking. Baby steps. Yeah, yep. but uh, still has a, a lisp. <laughs> little, couple little <laughs> speech things she's working on. <laughs> Yosemite fam. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> So what we thought we'd do in this episode is we'd kind of do a recap of 2021 and things that we just absolutely loved. And everywhere we've been, not yeah. everywhere, favorite places. Some of our favorite places that we plan to go back and visit. Right. Or and if I haven't been there that I want to go see. Well, that's kind of the future stuff. You're getting ahead of us. Oh. Okay. Anyway. So I thought we'd start off with uh, several of the RV repairs, maintenance, and or improvements we did that really made life really easy. So snap I thought, on, snap off. <laughs> <laughs> so, Joanne, we're gonna let you start. Which is your favorite thing that we got? Snap on, snap off. What she's talking about there is the quick hose connectors. Favorite thing in the world. And yeah, she loves those things. She thinks that's the greatest invention ever. For those of you who's ever tried to put a hose on or battle with putting the filters on and battle with putting all the connections on the hoses when you see these things or use these things. Life's easy, isn't it, Joe? It is. Even and they're fun. Yeah, and she has fun with them. Let's see, one of my uh, big things I'd have to say would be the, oh, no more stinky slinky. Ugh, that's just wrong. That Flowjet macerator we that I use. We saw somebody using a stinky slinky without gloves the other day. Oh, yeah, and a double one, too. Oh, Ooh, terrible. So... <laughs> He, he clearly didn't care about that. Right. But uh, the Flowjet macerator has, and I'm going to show all this stuff here as we go along. Um, you don't, there's no links to buy them or anything. You guys know where all to go. You can go to the link below to my website and buy all the stuff if you want to. This is really just to tell you the game changer of things that we found. basically started using right. or found or read about and tested and, and found the best ones yeah, and put them in our lives made life a lot easier water softener beautiful skin yes the water softener joe loves our water system as you guys know i've got not only the water softener but all those filtration systems so filtration 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 so we can drink the water make ice don't have to worry about anything and when you wash clothes take showers it's everything so nice. is much better yeah. really soft right mm -hmm. see one of my other things is the tire minder i know you could care less about that but let me tell you that peace of mind that you get from having a tire minder <laughs> yeah ladies don't care about this <laughs> stuff unless the tire's not minding that's true and that we mind but they are well because you have a tire minder that's right so peace of mind tire minder Obviously, you want to inspect the tires and everything as you go along. Ninja foodie. Oh, yeah. We use it for everything. Yes. Reheat, we love cooking. our ninja foodie. Um, if you're in an RV, you don't want to turn on the oven. You don't want to turn on the stove. And who wants to drag the grill every, out every night? Or if you drag it out, go play with it every night. Sometimes raining, sometimes the bugs. Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes it's windy. <laughs> Which makes grilling very difficult. Very difficult. At least for our style of grill. And he's ruined a meal or two in the wind. I have? No. Uh, yeah. I make do. So the food, uh, Ninja Foodie is actually a must have. Yes. It's been a great, great tool that, for us. We've given many a gifts. Um, snap pads. Um, again, this is something you probably could care less about. But she doesn't, uh, care about the rig being stable <sighs> on dirt gravel whatever all that kind of stuff as I long do, as everything rolls my way which it always so does <laughs> <laughs> which it always does mm -hmm. so but these snap pads are awesome and they just add that much more stability on everything highly recommend them and all the work you've done um, with all the shelving and everything made my life yeah. considerably as much as it can be yes more simple it, uh, I added a lot of shelving to the rig. Here's an example of just a few things I've done, but in closets, closets. and shoe yeah. bins and All of in it. the bathrooms and just everywhere we yeah. put shelves and Actually, added more Actually, we have storage. to show more because you've done a lot. Yeah, and, and all those little bins we bought too yep. that work great in yeah, those yeah, cabinets. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. yeah, so that's awesome. And baskets and yep. etc. Uh, one of the big things that we had to repair because it was a malfunction from the factory 
we had to do brakes. So there's all new brakes on the rig. You remember that? I do. They would and do those of you who saw that episode, what a mess that was. Mm -hmm. um, we were both knee deep. That was, we're still fighting with Grand Design to get reimbursed for that. They haven't sent us a penny yet. Um, not didn't reimburse for the brakes, didn't reimburse nothing. for the labor, nothing. So still working on that one. I'll keep you posted if they ever do. Yeah, they, they said it was their fault. They said they'd claim it, but they didn't have anybody to come repair it. <clears throat> and they didn't have any parts, so I had to go find it all myself. Yeah, which was tragic. E-bikes. Yes, that was a game changer, guys. Yeah. The e-bikes yeah. has made RVing so much easier. Um, instead of driving the truck into town and parking, which, and all by that. the way, you all know how tiny that is, so you can just zip, zip in and zip. Oh yeah, the truck goes Zip everywhere. in and zip out, right? So the e-bikes have been a game changer for us. Yeah. Um, I think, in fact, everybody we come across that have the e-bikes, they said, "Oh gosh, why didn't we buy these years ago?" Yeah, yeah, and that was just so cool. Yeah, it mm -hmm. is. If, these are awesome e-bikes. Yeah. Just had an episode on that a couple episodes ago, so. Try them at least. If you yes. have never tried one, go rent one. And yeah. So those are really kind of the top things that have been game changers for us this mm -hmm. season, right? Yeah. Would you say? So. Let's yeah. now let's move on to some of the places we've been that we want to go back to. Grand Canyon. Oh yeah. The Grand loved Canyon. Loved it in Sedona. Yeah. Love, love it, love it. One of my favorite places in the world. We didn't have enough time there. Are we going to so. talk about Grand Canyon and Sedona? Yeah. Kind of the same. Okay, you pick one, then I pick one. Then you pick well, one. Well, I pick them all. Okay. <laughs> we have a list here that we made so we could remember things. She wants to pick I them all. I want to do them all. <laughs> so for me, um, again, these are in no order of my favorites, but uh, something that I absolutely just enjoyed and we definitely plan to go back, and that is Zion National Park. Yeah, I that wasn't was there for fantastic. that. Fantastic. And uh, we are definitely going to go back. And yeah. not sure if we're going to do the narrows again. We sure might. We are. Um, depends on the water level. We will. Yeah. And your ankles. Yeah. Because it's rough to walk in there. For those of you who've done it, you know it's rough on the ankles. Okay, Joe, do you have a place? <laughs> Grand <in> Canyon. <laughs> okay. Grand Canyon. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we love the Grand Canyon. We definitely will be going back there. Um, we might be doing the uh, other ridge. We yeah. don't, we're not sure. But we're going to do much more. Yeah, we're going to spend more time there yeah. this time. Yeah, uh, too it was fast. Definitely, yeah, that was too quick of a trip there. Yeah, I might, never mind. My what? Remember Bobby, Brady, and Cindy? Yeah. Bobby? Bobby? Cindy? Cindy? Yeah. Jeffy? Mm -hmm. I won't lose you. Oh, do they lose each other? Mm -hmm. You don't remember that. I don't remember. The, I remember the Brady Bunch. Moving on. Okay. Um, oh, here's one that uh, I just absolutely love. Joe, unfortunately, wasn't there, but you guys all met my friend Brian. He and I did uh, the yeah. mountain biking down the Hiawasa Trail. I'm excited for that. In Idaho, that was beautiful. We are definitely going to do that. And those e-bikes, we'll turn that into nothing. Yeah, yeah, But it's yep. so gorgeous. Yep. Such a gorgeous trail. Texas, San Antonio. I've been there 30 years ago. Yeah, and she to wants back. to go back. I really enjoyed that. And the Alamo and, uh, and the caverns there. Um, we definitely want to go back and take a look at that. Joe wants to see that. Um, Glacier National Park. That's definitely one thing gonna be, at the top of the list. Top of the list. Yeah, that's going to yeah. be. We're going back to that. Yeah. We're going to spend more time there. There's a lot of other trails, as you saw. We did the uh, Road to the Sun Trail and uh, Road, I should say. And there's the Highline Trail. We did part of that, but I think we're going to do the whole Highline Trail this time. I think so too. Yeah. That's what I told you Hike I wanted the whole to thing. do. And a few other things were some beautiful waterfalls. Um, I know what your next one is. Crum, 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 crum. <laughs> she loved the Smoky Mountains. Mm -hmm. I did. And she yeah. wants to go horseback riding back in the Smoky Mountains. Yeah. But she also wants to do some hiking there. Right? I do, a lot of it. When it's not rainy and chilly and I slide on all the wet leaves right. and rocks, yeah. Mm -hmm. We were very lucky if you guys saw that episode that we were there oh, for the changing of the leaves and we just saw so much beauty. Yeah, but yeah. We're going to be there at probably a different time this year, so. A little bit earlier. Maybe a little we, earlier. We'll forfeit the the changing of the leaves to be able to go and hike and, do and some enjoy other that. Yeah. 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 Um, White Sands. Um, I know a lot of people don't go there, but I really enjoyed that. It was in the middle of the desert, and I was amazed at how cool it was in on top of the dunes. That white sand just kind of made everything cool. 
Yeah, definitely want to go back there. And I want to go. But jo has not experienced that, so yep. she's, we're going to go back and visit that. Mackinac Island. De uh, last on my list, but definitely not least. Um, I've never been um, in a Uber, of course, but I, I want to spend at least two days there, yeah. full days. And In fact, we gosh. might even just park the rig somewhere and stay one or two nights on the island. I would love to. And do the that bed and breakfast. And yeah. Yeah. We really, really enjoyed Mackinac Island, so we're definitely so going to go back there. Yeah. It was lovely. And we're going to spend more time in the Uper too. The Uper was just magnificent, and yeah. even though it's not on our list, and we didn't really visit it, but I had, I grew up there. That's northern Wisconsin. It's just so gorgeous up there. It, my first time going through there. Yeah, it was I, just beautiful. I want to spend time there. Yeah, yeah. So we'll do that. And then uh, I think we have one more place. It's on my list. Coeur d'Alene, oh, Idaho. Yeah. I I've heard so much Idaho. about this place. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're definitely going to go back to Coeur d'Alene. Um, it was such a magnificent place. Again, you saw my buddy Brian. He visited me up there. And we went through all the big lakes and uh, lots of hiking. <laughs> and that, that hike that I did, it was basically two miles straight up. Right. It was worth it to see the lake at the top of the mountain there. Yeah. It was magnificent. Yeah, I wanna, I'd want i like to go see yeah, that. Yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to have to get in a little better shape. Because yeah. that wore, us, wore me out. Yeah, yeah. Brian was leaving a little sore, but he, he was okay with it. He's young. He's young. No, he's my age. I'm young. No, he's 53. Oh, he is, isn't he? Yeah. I mean, I could be 53 if I wanted to push it, but... <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so those those were all the places we went to that we definitely want to go back. There's probably yeah. a few more, but those are kind of our top ten, if you will, yep. of all the places we're going to go back yeah. and visit. Now for 2022, we've got a few things on our list that are kind of our anchors, our rocks, our things we definitely are going to go see. Can I go, go first? To. Sure. What's wine your country. first one? Wine country. Wine country. Not that I am a wino per se. For years, she's been begging to go to the wine country. And Mr. Connoisseur here. For years, I've been telling her, I've been there so many times, yeah. I really don't want to go back, but she's never experienced it, yeah. and I've been there, no exaggeration, 25, 30 times. So when we go, we're going to spend a couple of days so I can really see it. We're going to spend a good week there. And get in, get out, and, and stomp grapes, and pick grapes, and yeah, eat we're grapes, gonna do all and that stuff. drink grapes. We're going to drink Lots a of lot. Grapes. Yeah. So I've got all these wine tours that I've yeah. selected for friends, and so I'll pull those out of the archives. We'll probably do yeah. a couple of those. I'm so excited for that. Mm -hmm. So for me, I'm excited about we're going to Yosemite. I am really excited about that too. And I haven't been to Yosemite in many, many years. It's, uh, I've never been. I'm embarrassed to admit it was uh, 25, 30 years ago when I was there last and did a little climbing. Not sure, I, I'm, I shouldn't say not sure. I know I can't do the climbing I did before there. Um, but I think I can still do Half Dome. So maybe we'll try to hike half up the dome. back side of Half Dome. What? Oh, the whole side of Half Dome? No, back Dome. the back side of Half Dome. Back Dome. <laughs> she doesn't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> the forest, Redwood Forest. While we're in wine country, we're going to head north. Yes, before we get to the wine country, we're going to go through the Redwood Forest. Oh. Is that what we're doing? Yeah, we'll do that first. Because we'll be coming from Thank the north. Thank God I'm not driving. Yeah, so we come to the north, and uh, Redwood Forest is absolutely beautiful. And a lot of beautiful hikes that yeah. we're going to go on. Um, again, that's something I've done a few years back, uh, actually 15 years ago, is magnificent. So we are going to go do that again. I do. And uh, let's see, for me, I think uh, Lake Tahoe while we're up in that area. Yeah. I love Lake Tahoe. Um, oh. Especially North Lake Tahoe. Yep. Um, that to me is my favorite part of the lake, of that whole area. It's majestic. I mean, it's all gorgeous, don't get me wrong. It's all absolutely gorgeous. But I think that's, uh, the north side is what I really, really like. Yeah. Um, Oops, sorry. Go ahead. For me, yeah. this. That's a big one. But I can't wait to do the icing on the cake, all of it, the be there all um, is to do a paddle drive in Montana. Montana, Wyoming, Wyoming, Texas. right? Figure that out. Right, yet. right, right, right. Either Wyoming, Montana, or Texas, right? But so, I want to do a real, true paddle drive. Right. So, any of you out there that know great places where we can actually do a, 
a fun cattle drive for a day. I don't want or two or three or. Oh, you want to stay whatever overnight? he can take. Yes. Oh, okay. Send us your options or ideas about cattle drives. Yeah. Um, so I'm happy to do that with you. I've yeah. never done that. Never really had a desire to do it, but. <laughs> a New Yorker going on a cattle drive. Yeah. Yeah, city slickers. I see city. that movie. <laughs> Movie I forgot about that. Coming up. Yeah. What was the guy, the old guy that died in his horse? I forget. I anyway, don't remember either. You guys will tell us who that was. Yep. Got uh, him <laughs> So funny. That was a funny movie. Mm -hmm. That could be a funny episode, too. Yeah. <laughs> and then us. the next thing we're going to do, um, it's kind of in ties into what we said earlier, going back to Zion, but we're going to spend more time in southern Utah. Yeah. There is so much to see there, and I kind of blew there through there pretty fast and you know did all the the zion did the bryce did the oh, horseshoe Canyon. and all uh, that yeah so I, I buzzed through there way too fast i'm going to spend or we're going to spend i'd like to about <laughs> two weeks in that whole area yep I'm maybe having, three weeks i haven't been to salt lake city and yeah. well that's a little further over but, yeah but or up, yeah so. up but three years i don't know but time. that whole southern part all the way down uh through zion and then the bryce and then We'll go back to Arches, um, so with Moab, so we'll do yep. that again. Yeah. So anyway, we're going to go through all that area again. Those are but the cattle there. drives, if you guys got any pointers on where Please. we can go do that. Yeah. Yeah. Again, Wyoming, Montana, Texas, or anywhere else that you might think is a good yeah. cattle drive area yep. for us to go visit. Yeah. So that's pretty much it of where we're, what we're planning for 2022 and everything we did. A little bit did. of what we're planning. Yep. And everything that we did in 21. I want to thank all of you so much for subscribing and following and forwarding our videos. That's helped tremendously. Yeah. Um, we are at a point where we decided to create some merch. Yep, we have. So. Everything. So we have just started doing this, so there's not a lot there yet, but we have a few t-shirts, several different styles, yep. but a couple different sayings and uh, hats and other things are on the way. Do you have but any suggestions? Yeah, if there's things that you'd Please like to have know. or see, yeah, um, stickers, things of that nature. Yeah. But anyway, there's a link below here if you want to click on it. You can start to buy the My like, Bucket List Day shirts. Click, ring the bell. It's been so long since I've been here. Click, ring, yeah, check. But we're I not don't doing know. any of that stuff yet because oh. we have a couple more announcements. Oh, we have. To... Don't click. <laughs> <laughs> click anytime. It's free. <laughs> You don't have to wait for us to tell him to do it. He can do it anytime throughout the entire video. He can say, hit subscribe, even click, after click, the click, video. Click, click, ring, ring, ring. To all those things that you're supposed to be doing to help us out. Um, let's see, a couple other announcements. We are going to be having some memberships soon, and let me tell you why we're doing that. Is I've been working with some manufacturers, and we're going to have some exclusive products to certain members. Yeah. So they're not going to be available to the public. They're only going to be available to members of My Bucket List Day. And some of these things are things you guys are going to want. chosen a few. You're going to want some of these things. So that's coming too. That's going to be after the first of the year. And uh, let's see. As you see, Joe is already back. We are going to have a video where we talk about everything that Joe went through and Jeez. that kind of stuff. Still going. Yep. Yeah. So bring your tissues. Yeah. On the, we're on the mend. We are on the mend finally. Although Not there's... Good. One other major surgery that has to come up in uh, about eight weeks. She's got to do that, so she'll be off camera for a few weeks again because of all of that. Yep. But anyway. Tuck and roll. It's yep. all good from here on out. Yeah, that's exactly right. So we want to wish all of you uh, happy holidays, a happy new year. A very, very blessed and safe and healthy new year. Yes. And uh, 21... 2021 was kind of a funk year in politics, a uh, funky year in <laughs> everything going on in the world. Yeah. So let's, he's been an angel. He's been my savior for 21. I didn't do anything. Mm -hmm. My so rock. Let's, let's put 21 behind us and look forward to a much better 2022. And uh, although politics may not change, although in November they we probably change won't. <laughs> We'll um, talk about that later. We'll talk about that another one. Anyway, hopefully everything will start to improve in 2022. Um, and fuel prices won't go as high as we're oh, expecting. Uh, but at any rate, thank you again from the bottom of our heart. Sincerely, we appreciate Indeed. all of your support. 
and uh, look forward to having fun in 2022 with you. Make it your bucket list day every day. Yep. And hit that like, subscribe, and all that other stuff. And ring the bell. And do all those kinds of things. Yes. Hopefully they did that throughout the video. See you Please. next year. Bye. See